apple. I need that 16. Let's go. And there's a lot of really cool, unique updates coming. Let's talk about that today. Tristan, I still have an iPhone 13. And actually, let me let me let me digress. If you don't have an iPhone, you're basically an alien. Because today we're going to talk about the new iPhone 16 that's coming out, which is very relevant to me because I've been holding out. I try to keep a phone for two to three years, Tristan, because mm -hmm. that's about its shelf life. And then it starts to, you know, lose memory and die quicker and act goofy. And, and that's where I'm at. And now I am sitting here at the at the edge of my chair saying, come on, Apple, I need that 16. Let's go. And there's a lot of really cool, unique updates coming Let's talk about that today. There are, man. There are. And, and I know that people out there are like, Apple, I've got an Android. And look, there's nothing wrong with that. But yes, there is. We, <laughs> <laughs> we, we figured out early on that if, you, if you're in a business that requires some type of sales, uh, you will have an advantage over everyone else if you are using an iPhone. There's two main reasons, and and Monch, who's in the background, just figured out one of them. But the first one for us, Jeff, we we get a, a lot of online leads, a lot of inquiries, and sometimes they only come with email. And as soon as you were able to connect your email as a form of texting on the in the Apple world with the blue bubble back in 2011, I believe, 2011-ish, uh, we started using it immediately. So now every time we'd get incomplete information or just someone's email, and we're in the United States. So I just pop it into the text messaging and now all of a sudden I could text people just with their email address. And for me, that's massively valuable because we know that people don't typically respond to emails. They are not going to pick up the phone, even though now I can uh, FaceTime video them if I want or FaceTime voice them with that email. But more importantly, I'm texting them. That is the number one way people will get back to you outside of Messenger if they're already on the social platform. That's number one. Number two, what Apple has done so well that Android is still missing. Yes, Android tech is definitely advanced. But what they're missing is the simplicity of an all-in-one. If you're on a Mac, if you're on your uh, laptop that's a Mac, if you're on your phone, if you're on your iPad, all of a sudden you can do business from all of them easily. I can copy paste to one without having to download anything, without having to add anything else. And I can text from every single one. So in my house and in my offices, it's all Mac and I've got a Mac connected. If I forgot it here, guess what? I could just jump in, continue my text with Jeff. That is the beauty of it. And so when you add and layer what we're about to talk about, I don't see how it doesn't become the ultimate business machine. And that's AI. I mean, dude, that's probably the one thing I'm most excited about for the iPhone. Yes, Samsung's going to get it. Yes, everyone else is going to get it. But the thing that makes Apple different is that it simplifies it for the consumer. It simplifies it for the business owner. And I don't know about you, but simplicity attracts. Don't you think? Yeah, especially especially depending on the business you're in. And, and I realize that most of the people listening to this are real estate mortgage title maybe. And um, this all applies. It's very applicable to you because the simplicity and efficiency of I, – I actually, when you said that, I, it caught my attention because I never really thought of it that way. As a salesperson, if you're not a salesperson, then maybe this is less applicable to you. I, I never really did though, Tristan, understand – why people are so anti like it, it's weird like because we all have our android friends uh and i think i think i could i broadly can say that most of us if i go out and pick out 50 of my acquaintances and friends 75 percent are apple users and the 25 yeah, percent are android would that would that be a safe statement i would say you're you're about right in the u.s right u.s uh, when, once you start getting out of the United States, then you start seeing more people. The majority have some type of an Android phone. Got it. Which, so, I mean, I think for, again, most of you listening, this is you're in the U.S. So that's more applicable to you. Uh, so that's a really good reason. So but but I mean, it, it's like almost like it's like stubbornness. 
It's like, I don't like Apple for whatever. I don't know. Maybe it's political. Uh, maybe it's religious. I don't know. Uh, so I won't use that phone and I'm going to be, because that, that's all Android users are just as weird about their choice as Apple, as us Apple users are about ours. And, yeah. and I never really understood that. For me, it's an easy choice, man. Uh, Samsung and Andy Android devices, they definitely have better tech. But the difference is Apple simplified it to be able to use it all together. And the operating system just can't be beat. Yeah, yeah, it's closed, but that's because Android screws it all up. So look at my screen right here. Uh, Jeff, I know you're watching. Everyone else is watching. We went, we went to the Apple website under Apple Intelligence. And the very first thing you'll see at the very top, it says built into your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. So exactly what we we're talking about. And you'll see here everywhere that you can use the ability to just bring on AI, whether it's to write something, to search for something, to text, to create notes, to absolutely do anything that you want with your phone. And for me and for Jeff and for all of you, the ability to now open up your phone and just ask it anything you want because it's integrated. Obviously, you've got to give it the permission, right? But the fact that it's integrated into everything we do, I don't I don't know how that doesn't make it more powerful, man. How how does this not make my phone, my business, and especially crappy ass Siri, which sucks. I hate Siri. How does it not make it even better now that it's open AI? That's yeah. that to me is is the question. It's like how will be how will you be using this? Because that's what I want to know. How yeah. will you be using it? Because I might be learning from you. And for me, I'm opening up a whole new world. Now, everything in my phone that I hadn't, dude, how hard it yesterday. I'm sitting on here and I know I'm doing this. I'm like, I know I met Seth Godin the first time and I'm looking. I'm like, it was 2016 and I'm trying to remember, right? And I, I can't remember. And so I'm scrolling through for about 15 minutes to find a damn picture. And I finally found it. Now I could just ask. Right now I can ask, but it sucks. And right now I can ask Siri questions or to type things. And then it sucks even worse. But now your whole phone is now changed. And the dynamic that you use your phone, what do they say about tools? The tools and the tech that you use define humanity, defines you. How will this define who we become? And to me, it just makes us more powerful. AI in, in as a whole will make us more powerful. Uh, more efficient, you... more efficient. I mean, well, go ahead. What was your question going to be? No, my, my question was for you. Like when you're thinking about AI now in your phone integrated to build, to talk, to email, to create images, all this stuff, what's the very first thing that you're thinking of as far as how will you be using it? Well, I, I, the first thing I was going to say was that, you know, here we are, what, a year and a half, are we a year and a half later or was it, are we not even a year in? When when was AI, when did ChatGPT come out? The November of what year? Was it 23 or was it 22? For AI? Yeah. Chat 2022, I think they released it in November. So we're a year and a half in now. Yeah. And and I, it thank you, CK. CK. And, and I would, I mean- Here's here's my just very primitive take on AI's evolution. It started, you know, we it was such a hot topic and almost kind of controversial. And it's like, oh, my God, this is going to ruin the world and blah, blah, blah. And now here we are a year and a half later. And I almost feel like it's. It's less it's not controversial anymore. It's mm -hmm. so mainstream. All of the people that looked at it as controversial aren't even realizing that it's now built into a lot of the things you're already using. And this is such a great example of AI is going to take over whether you like it or not, unless you just choose not to have a cellular device, in which case you're probably living off the grid and nothing, none of this matters. I don't even know why you're listening to this, if that's the case. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're not that person, I think this is such a great example, Tristan, of don't just sit back and wait for it to come to you because that's what the vast majority of Americans will do. Be the person that takes the time to learn just a little bit 
and you know learn how you can use this because especially if you're in the real estate field there are so many advantages that you can create for yourself as Tristan just described with the communication tool that's primitive and simple but effective right and there's so much uh, there's so there's going to be a lot of text ai that is going to be built into this new phone so it's going to make you more articulate um don't but also don't rely so heavily on it that you're one of those people that goes from, you know, uh, we, you're not very articulate to like super articulate because it's going to be very obvious that you didn't write it. So there's, there's always that, that in between, but, but Tristan, I think people just need to take a look at this and go to this link. We can share it in the show notes and go Google iPhone 16 AI features and, and research it, learn a little bit about it. So you know, what's coming and how you can be using it because these tools, God, they're going to make, they are going to be, Tristan, there's going to be differentiators with clients that you're going to text them something that's AI driven and they're going to be blown away. And that's what's going to make them decide to work with you. And uh, this, I, I mean, I can't stress this enough. Here's what's happening that that a lot of people that our two listeners uh, don't don't know, but now you're, you're going to know. Okay. You're going to know. Thank you for your two listeners. I don't know who you are. You should text us and let us know if you're listening to this. Brian Quinlan's one of them. Brian Quinlan's okay. one of them, I think. Brian, we'll I'm Ch Challenge. Challenge, Brian. Text us if you listen to this. Yeah. So listen to this. And this is something that a lot of people don't know. And I'm helping a few different companies in real estate to develop these things. Not me as a developer, just like uh, process and ideas. This, the phone, think of this as now AI being what apps were. For all of those people that were developing now the apps, without the phone, without the iPhone specifically, you would have, you wouldn't have the, the massive adoption of Facebook, Instagram, maybe YouTube, X, all of this world that we know is social media. The mass adoption then of TikTok was because it was simplified to an app and then Android and everything else. But the creator of the app was the phone and then it expanded the iPhone and it expanded it to everything else. Now bring in AI. AI now is that app again. And here's the piece that we're all missing. This phone now becomes Jarvis from Iron Man, from uh, Tony Stark, because now the next piece that's being created is this. Hey, Siri, could you do me a favor? I have a meeting in about 30 minutes at 123 Main Street, and I need a listing presentation on that property. Can you do me a favor and grab all of the community insights and the data for all the property that is sold around the neighborhood and put that in about uh, eight or nine pages. Very concise. Make it very personal. Hey, Siri, stop. Hey, Siri, stop over there. <laughs> Shit. Siri. Hey, Siri. <laughs> you see how but shitty it sucks right now? Hey, no. she's just trying to do her job. No, no I'm not. Stop. Okay, I won't create the event. It's, you, we can barely hear it. We can barely hear it, but that's funny. Well, I can hear it really clearly. So now it's working not only here. Here's the thing. It's voice to voice. This is the simplification of AI, this next stage. I can talk to AI and it will understand what I need created and it will create it. Now, the first iteration of it, will be like, well, it won't do that well, right? It'll have to have templates that it'll choose off of. And then me, you, our team will have to go in and tweak it. But the ability to be able to do that by voice, dude, that's just simplified my whole world. Now I can create things. I can, cr dude, I, uh, hey, I'm not going to say her name, but hey, device, create a website for, create a landing page. I just got this listing. The world's going to change. And this little device, because AI is being added, allows these other companies to come in and say, now I can build something on top of this. And because now it's on the phone, it changes humanity. And that's what we're not paying attention to. It's like, pay attention. Everyone's going to need a new phone too, because apparently the 15 Pro is the only one that's going to be able to, or or or, or higher, right? 15 Pro and... Mm -hmm. 16, you said? What was yeah. it? 16 is what's coming, yeah. So anybody anybody who's got pre-15 phones, you're pretty much going to have to upgrade. Yeah. 
You but I know it. a lot of people in my boat and everybody who got the 13, it's like, it's almost too soon to get, it's definitely too soon to get next year's. And it's typically too soon, especially if you put it in your bill, put the cost of the phone in your bill, which most people do. You're not due for an upgrade uh, until three years later, but typically you need the upgrade two years later. So it's, yeah, it basically, there's going to be a lot of people getting the 16. It's, it's uh, hopefully, hopefully you're one of them. Man, I'm excited about this. And, and for me, the AI is going to be the big differentiator. They're lowering the price. So yeah. for, for ent entry level phones, are you excited about that? Or does that make a difference? What, what do you think overall? I think it's, well, I think it's a, also a testament to to the evolution of technology. Things are, I, I actually, I think this is Apple's, uh, if you want my conspiracy opinion, uh, defense maneuver to keep people from going over to Android. You know, mm. honestly, I, I think, I think, I don't know. I don't study this stuff. You know, I'm an Apple user just because it's what I'm used to, to be honest with you. I'm really yeah. not that diehard. I tease, I tease Android users, but I'm not, I don't really care that much. Um, but I think, I think that's, I think that's the play. The same thing with that. I said about Tesla and Elon. Uh, look at the affordability of Teslas now. It, I, I do. I firmly believe that was one million percent strategic, based upon every other car maker now getting into that space. And uh, I think Apple's basically doing the same thing. I always. It's funny how you bring up Tesla because I always think of the products that they both create are very, to me, in my head, are very similar. Like they're innovative, they're sleek, they're simple to use. They're integrated among other things that are used within that same family. Here are some things that I'm, I'm reading through. So I'm just going to read these to you of things that are going to come out on the new iPhone. Are you ready? Ready. All right. I'm going to read them. Larger displays. So apparently this is going to be the option to get the biggest ever iPhones. Pretty crazy. All right. I don't know how much bigger. Uh, vertical camera layout i don't know what that means but i'm assuming uh the shape is going to be different on the back battery changes apparently larger batteries mm -hmm. yeah see? whatever i'll believe that when i see it the thing is they're going to need it but because how many times are going to be having ai use it right so it's going to drain your battery uh next one is a capture button so new camera capabilities so i'm assuming you can take a picture quicker i think i think you don't yeah i think it's easier i think that's what i heard or read yep okay cool 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 ultra wide lens upgrade yep i heard that you don't need okay. the attachments anymore that's basically getting android technology into the apple yep all right cool i still don't think we'll catch up to um no. android tech no. but you know uh, something called super telephoto camera. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Uh, a super telephoto periscope camera for dramatically increased optimal zoom. Hmm. So I know that um, Android's got that already. At least the, the Samsung devices do. Cool, cool. Uh, new A18 series chip. That's what allows the AI to function faster. Uh, what do we got? Anything else that I can understand? Uh, a lot of stuff that's just my upgraded microphone. I love that because you and I shoot all of our content with our iPhone, right? Yeah, yeah, that would be nice if I don't have to always put a mic on, which you don't even even with the thirteen. I don't as long as you're in a controlled sound environment, you don't need a microphone. But it would be cool if we could be in a louder background, louder setting, and be able to just shoot it without a microphone. That would be nice. That's what actually I'm reading. It says it will be able to. Mm. that's awesome uh expanded storage and increased memory so it'll function faster and you can save more on it i don't know about you but i do a lot of videos on these things and i i just leave them on there i never delete them dude so I, I just had to upgrade i just had to upgrade to six terabytes in the cloud see we, <laughs> we should so i think hold on jim i think you shoot way more video than i do yeah I two terabytes you, isn't enough for me anymore isn't that crazy and oh, I crap. do delete videos. I do delete videos. But but Tristan, Ooh. I shoot podcasts. I shoot long form videos on my. I mean, so I got. Oh a yeah, lot. you shoot way more than I do, dude. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, anyway, the new phone comes out uh, first, second, third week. All right, it's announced like the second week of September. It comes out at the end of September. 
But then when you order, you probably won't get it until October, November. So we'll start seeing a lot of people with the phone probably November-ish. Uh, and they've got a whole think, bunch of different colors. I Go think ahead. they come out late September, is that what you said? Yeah, that's when. So they, they'll announce it like September 10, around there. And then you'll be able to order them. But, you know, they always take a long time unless you're like the first 10. Yeah. And I, I always end up ordering it, but I don't get it till like December. It always pisses me off. Yeah. You always get, when you get a phone, you always get it before I do. Well, Dude, I bet, I bet I, you I don't, don't have it at your Apple store if you go. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Maybe it's just an advantage of being in a more, less populated area, you know? What did uh, CK say? He says the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro models will be released in September. Uh, all right, so there you go. The second week of September. That's when we're, or September 10th, yeah, or that week. It. That week. Yeah. Boom. Well, I'm excited about this. I think it will change the way we do business, only because voice to voice will change um, a, a lot. And I think, Jeff, if we're looking at businesses, I, I can't keep, I can't stop thinking about what Sam Altman said. He's a guy that runs OpenAI, uh, ChatGPT. He says in the next, I don't know, 10, 15 years, we're going to get the first one person business that becomes a billion dollar business. Just one person thinks to AI. And I think this takes us one step closer because if I can dictate to computers what I want created from a simple, a simple text to a very complicated coded website with landing pages that are automated that create Facebook ads, and then retargeting ads on Instagram, and then blogs, and then videos that are faceless, all with AI voice, just off of me telling it, that changes the world. And that's what I'm excited about. Yep. I agree. So just one question. Are you going to get the iPhone 16 when it rolls out? Listen. Oh, if well, I have one, it, have one more I thing to say. One more thing to say to wrap this thing up. Hey Siri, play Chocolate Starfish by Limp Biscuit. It didn't hear you. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Yeah, doing <laughs> oh, it on your phone. <laughs> I shut off all my hey, except for that one behind me. Oh, uh, yeah. So no now force. how many people are gonna go? How many more people are gonna go a request to play Chocolate Starfish? If you do, I will warn you. I hope you're not easily offended. <laughs> See you on the next uh, one. Bye, everyone.